my snowball better be on this video because it wasn't on my last video and I'm about to I also didn't have it plugged in so like please excuse the transformation I literally have paint in my Amazon car hey what's up you guys it's Julia here back with another video and we're doing a Twitter drama video today <sighs> I just I'd live for you guys. Nothing like a good old gaming community, like somebody's pissed off about something. There's just a war going on. In this scenario, it's literally the female gaming community versus the male gaming community. So we have this gaming community content creator. I don't, I have two cameras on, sorry. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Her name's Jana, J-H-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A, if you guys wanna follow her on Twitter. She's extremely popular. She's followed by very big creators. This video on Twitter went viral, almost 5,000 likes. So this is pretty big. So we're going to react to this together and kind of gather some thoughts. She wouldn't last 10 minutes in a COD lobby is not, nor has it ever been a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming. I I shouldn't have to play a game where all I say is hi and the whole game is thrown and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because men are being emotional about it. That is not normal and that's not how the old COD days were because I promise you, as a man, you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. That doesn't happen. You can say it happens. You're lying. I'm sorry. Okay, so she is talking about disrespect in the Call of Duty lobbies, which obviously I'm a female gamer, content creator, and I'm extremely aware of this, and I actually use it to my advantage because um, it makes people laugh. So the whole, and like the jokes are so dry anyways. I grew up in COD lobbies, so it's not really that... I don't get offended, but I understand like some people want to advocate for kindness and a, a change in the COD lobbies or just being more respectful towards women in COD lobbies. And actually, I have seen some progress. I have met more females in the past few months than I ever had on Modern Warfare 3. I really like it. And these females are usually with a guy group and the guys are friends with her and sticking up for her. I've had men stick up for me in COD lobbies. Just like, I have a different perspective on this because I use their hate, their comments to me as content. So I turn it into like a thumbnail. I turn it into a title. Being the only female in a COD lobby, like I use it to my advantage and I make revenue off of it because I'm not offended by it. I think, oh my God, is this gonna get me canceled? Where she is coming from is a very progressive standpoint. She wants to see change in these lobbies and she wants to see more respect towards women in these lobbies. I think, I don't really see that happening. And yes, it's it goes as deep as the whole, like, would you choose the man or the bear? Like, and how men are a little bit scary and men are dangerous and men can be rude and disrespectful towards women. And it's this whole topic. And now we're just in this little, like, how they act in the gaming community. I don't know why that's such a common thing in the comments of my videos. You guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me a telling me he's going to tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing and say that that happens to you too. It doesn't. There's a reason that historically male dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe. That goes for gaming. That goes for sports. Any male dominated space is a bad one. That's not me being sexist. That is me saying there is an inherent issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk that makes everybody else feel unsafe. I don't know how you could possibly find it fun to make other people feel unsafe. Okay, no? so I just want to add in, like, I think both genders get shit on as public content creators. You know, men can get death threats men maybe not like the sexualizing and that's why I'm very extremely cautious about what I wear in my videos um I know some female streamers are very confident in themselves and they don't mind showing some cleavage and they don't mind showing their shoulders and stuff but as for me um I make it very I don't want men looking at me like that. So and don't even get me started with the the female streamers that just want to advertise their OnlyFans. I don't want to be put into that category 
ever. I don't want men looking at me like that. I kind of, I just want to make content that makes people laugh. I don't want you looking at my body or hitting on me. Um, I just want to make funny content with my friends. Even Call of Duty themselves are trying to stop bullying and stop harassment online. Like you will get banned. I think it's really good to use that mute button and use that block button if anybody's harassing you or bothering you. Um, but you have to realize like if you're on a public platform, this is inevitable for either genders. You are giving, you are showing yourself to the public. They can say whatever they want to say and how you present yourself as well. No, I do not think it's okay for men to say that they're going to grape you. That is obviously so messed up and they should be banned. They should not be able to make new accounts. There is good men out there. You just need to find them. My male gaming group with Sam, John, and Michael, they are extremely respectful. They will protect me in any harassment, COD lobbies that I'm with them. They protect me because good men protect and good men are out there. I've met so many kind souls in COD lobbies and I know both ends. We have females that are playing video games with their tits out and wearing booty shorts and like it's almost feeding the nasty men. You know what I mean? You're giving the nasty, disgusting men what they want. I reject both of those sides. I reject both of them. I'm in the middle. Men to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything, but could you please be normal? Because I want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened, without my body being threatened, because I'm existing as a woman. And men are the ones making it unsafe. And I do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men, or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you are part of the problem. If you feel attacked by that, you're part of the problem. If you say just mute them, you're part of the problem. If you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene, you're part of the problem. Because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends, who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. I understand mm -hmm. it, it's not all men. But if you are not one of the men doing this, it is entirely on you to help stop the men who are. If you don't understand that and you don't understand power imbalances and gender hierarchy, it's not my place to teach you. I'm not your mother, I'm not your teacher. Close the game for five minutes and educate yourself, but stop making this a bad experience for everybody else who's just trying to play the game. Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, I really don't care, is so toxic. Like, she chose this platform and man, I don't know why. Like, oh my gosh, I would never post this on this platform specifically. Like, this, this platform is filled with toxic men. <laughs> like, see what I mean, dude? This woman is bold for posting that on here. If you want to be in a community, stop trying to change that community. Men in gaming get targeted for everything, including their gender. The difference is they understand it's banter and just have fun. You have a mute and block button. So. Oh my god. If male-dominated spaces are toxic and unsafe, then stay away from them instead of demanding inclusion. This got the biggest... Oh my god. So somebody subtweeted to her saying this and this literally blew up overnight. It is at 84,000 likes. So remember her video is only at 5,000 likes. 84,000 people like this and it is so bad. No, it's over, Ina. It's over. Like, if, if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. That is a crazy statement. Um, I don't know if it was like satire, if she was like slightly joking, but that does seem to be like a trend nowadays that nobody likes cisgender men. Don't lie. It'd be a lot of the fat hoes talking. You, you fat bitches need to shut the fuck up. I don't think the people in this thread understand. Whether she is joking or not, this is a weird statement to make. You can't force people to be a certain section sexuality and that's that. A hundred percent I agree. You should never ever force kids to turn a certain way to match like what you want. Um, and that goes for everything. Like let your kid just be who they want to be. 
the gaming community is male dominated. And since Black Ops 2 lobbies, there were just men in those lobbies. And those are the most hateful things that I've ever heard. And honestly, I'm sorry, it's funny. The Black Ops 2 lobbies were extremely toxic and it was funny. People cannot take a joke nowadays. And that was just men. There was no hate towards women in the Black Ops 2 lobbies. Pretty sure there was no woman in there, honestly. I understand that this could be a problem if you're getting grape threats or just getting threats in general to your life. And in that case, I'm sorry if I'm part of the problem, but you need to block and remove these people. That is the only answer that you can do. This is the internet. You are on a public platform. Expect everybody to be so respectful and nice and kind every day because it's Twitter, dude. I have been shit on on Twitter. I have had the hate come towards me and it was scary as hell. Focus on the good friends. You don't need to be so focused on the hateful men out there. They want you to feed into it. They want you to respond or even make funny content using what they say and expose them for what they say. Put their damn gamer tag in that video and expose them. Make revenue off of what they say to you. And I think we need more healthy masculine men who protect and provide. Leave a comment on your opinion. This is a safe space for opinions. Like, no hate to this woman. I hope you just keep making videos. Keep doing your content. Follow your dreams. Don't listen to the hateful men on Call of Duty because it's not gonna go away. Or any video game in, that, in general. Honestly, talk shit back. Say it worse. Go in, dude. <laughs> It's a, it's a lobby. Just go in, say what you want to say and make it viral and make money off of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.